this. He's a, a director eating popcorn. Okay. That is really good, by the way. How it is good popcorn. I'm waiting to go into another movie. Here's, I could just tell you briefly yeah. about yeah, it. Yeah, tell us it about stars, it. Uh, so I haven't seen it. And normally yeah. I like asking people because I've seen their work and I can ask intelligent questions. Yeah. No problem. Like, I'll fill um, in the, the okay, blanks. Okay, good. I'm here with a feature called Wild Honey, which is a romantic comedy about a lovelorn phone sex operator. Phone sex operator who falls for one of her callers. Phone sex operator who falls for one of her callers. Is that based on your person? Personal experience? Yeah. No, it's only based Either you on were the, my the phone sex operator no. or... Or was I the caller? Yeah. <laughs> I guess neither, although the, the caller is a screenwriter in LA, so there's that, you know, and she's in Chicago, which is where I grew up. Now I'm in LA, so that's where the phone uh, sex operator lives. Do you so. know Adam Rifkin? I know the name, Adam Rifkin. He's Rifkin, from Chicago. Recognize. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a, a director. Yes, yeah, so let's send this to him. Hi! He made Small Soldiers. Yeah. Uh, Rusty Schwimmer is the lead actress. She's amazing. She was in, uh, she's been in Hollywood uh, movies and uh, TV for years. She was on Louie. She was in The Perfect Storm and The Guardian. She's uh, mm -hmm. sort of veteran character actress. And uh, the actor that she falls for, the, 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 the caller, is played by Timothy Amundsen, who is on Psych and uh, Galavant, and mm -hmm. he's, uh, He's terrific, and then it has Stephanie Weir from Mad TV. And has do Tom the people Stashwick. spend a long time and not meet, or do they do they talk? That's on all the, the phone? first act. Oh. So so once she uh, really gets a connection with him, she decides mm -hmm. to fly out to L.A. and she has uh, a sister that she has become estranged from, okay. and so she decides she's just gonna drop in on her sister and and make nice with her in order to. And how do you get cast? How do you cast somebody who's only going to be known for their voice for the first part? And also well, pretty, he has an amazing voice. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, like, um, yeah. like a physically pretty yeah. look. Because men and women need to be pretty, unfortunately, in this day and age to be a Megan in Hollywood. Well, well that's I mean, the way. it's not right. Actors, but yeah. actors are, you know, beautiful people. Yeah. Uh, and and he also, you know, the movie is seen through Gabby's eyes. She's the phone mm -hmm. sex operator. So I wanted to find someone who was really very charming and yet also had sort of a mysterious side. Mm -hmm. Uh, that that you learn more about this character throughout throughout the movie, uh, and Tim Timothy Amundsen was perfect for that. Okay, and has it been picked up by anybody for a distribution or Netflix? Not yet. This is our premiere. Okay. So, oh, when's your yeah. premiere? Uh, it was Friday. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. I was about to say because he told me both of them had ended. That's right. The second screening was last night here uh, at the Galaxy. And I could have gone to that, and I didn't. See, shame well. on me. No, anyway, so tell me, like, um, when you were thinking about the whole phone sex operation thing, did you actually go and talk to people who are real phone sex operators? You know, it's like a dream for many people, you know? I, well, yeah, as, and, and as Gabby says in the movie, you sit at home in your yeah. bedroom. Did you see you the know? one that was on HBO and it said for a good time call? Doc I've seen that yeah, movie, okay, yeah. Were you inspired at all by any of the, or, or not inspired? I, was, I wasn't inspired by that film, although it's a very funny movie because that is really a film about being a phone sex operator. Yeah. In my film, it's 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 more of a catalyst for this romance between these two characters. I love movies like, uh, you know, Lost in Translation or Before mm -hmm. Sunrise, where two character, two strangers come together, and so that all happens just in the first act. So you see her in the first act, and I did a lot of research, uh, articles written by people who've done phone sex, okay. which is still a big thing even now with in the era of internet porn and and, and yeah. webcams and all that. This, it's still a, a thriving business. Is it something that you think, I mean, I don't want to say, does, can I ask you, does it end happily? That's you, one of the big things my, my, my dad has been asking everybody at every question and answer session when he goes to these things. Everyone in the audience laughs like, right. Yes, I feel embarrassed that he's asking about happy endings. Well, I'm not going to tell sessions. you how the movie ends. The thing is satisfying. Okay. That's my opinion. I think it's true, true to um, the way women. What, I guess relationships with men really work or is the way you, you kind of want it to work? Absolutely. I mean, that is one thing that we've gotten a lot of feedback on is that the film feels very authentic. Thanks Have so fun. much for talking get, to me. Don't get locked out of your movie. Oh, well, thanks for talking to me.